Everyone's talking about AI, artificial intelligence, but very few are talking about the electricity behind it. That needs to change. The truth, every time a new data center breaks ground, your future power bill goes up. Not because utilities are greedy. I mean, they are, but more so because of the sheer amount of electricity these facilities consume and who ends up paying for that infrastructure that supports them. So let's break this down simply, clearly, and with real numbers. But before we do, click that like, subscribe, and the alert bell. That won't cost you a dime. Now let's get into it. And let's start with what a modern data center actually uses. The EIA reports that a traditional cloud data center, think of web hosting, storage, enterprise computing, uh, Google, Amazon, Meta, Facebook, whatever they call themselves. Those use 30,000 to 50,000 homes worth of electricity. And AI, that's a different beast. Just training a large AI model, like a chat GPT class, it can use as much electricity as 100 to 300 US homes consume in a year. Just training. That's from studies by the University of Massachusetts and the IEA. And what about chips? Everyone hears about NVIDIA being a multi-trillion dollar company. What we don't hear is that their modern AI chips can draw up to 700 watts each. And data centers, they deploy them by the thousands. That's why AI facilities consume so much power compared to traditional data centers. So when you hear a state announce a one gigawatt data center project, here's the translation. That's the electricity demand of a small city. We're literally adding new cities to the grid, but without adding new residents, taxpayers, or infrastructure to pay for it. And here's the part no one talks about. When a big data center moves in, the utility has to build new substations, new transmission lines, new local distribution capacity, new generation. Those costs don't stay with the data center. Rate cases filed all over the country, Georgia Power, Dominion Energy, APS, Duke, AEP, they all show the same thing. The cost of serving giant new loads gets spread across all customers. So your bill goes up because the base rates increase to pay for new grid infrastructure. The fuel charges go up when utilities build more gas plants. Grid upgrade surcharges show up as riders. High peak demand pushes up demand charges for businesses. In simple terms, when a new data center shows up, Everyone splits the tab for that. This isn't speculation. This is literally how monopoly utilities recover cost. Now, here's where the problem really kicks in. The growth, it's not slowing. It's accelerating. The IEA projects U.S. data centers electricity use will double by 2030. Some analysts, including Goldman Sachs and the Electric Power Research Institute, say it could triple because of AI workloads. In Arizona, Regulators just approved $45 billion in new data center projects, representing five to six gigawatts of new demand. For comparison, the entire city of Tucson uses about two gigawatts. Virginia's data center corridor now consumes more power than 20 U.S. states based on Dominion Energy's IRP filings. Ohio, Georgia, Texas, you're all next. And here's the connection to your wallet. All that new infrastructure is being built into your future rates. Not in theory, in already filed rate cases. So yes, AI is incredible, but it comes with a massive energy price tag. And right now, a lot of that price tag is being quietly passed on to households and small businesses. And here's the scary part we need to talk about next. Demand is growing way faster than supply. Not just for cost, but for reliability. In future episodes, we're going to break down the supply-demand gap and why grid planners are already warning about unavoidable brownouts and blackouts over the next decade. Now, this isn't fear. This is just reality based on the math. So if you want the full picture, hit subscribe. This month, we're exposing the problems. In January, we're going to talk solutions. Catch you next time.